So, hello everyone, hope all of you are doing well in continuation with our SFM theory discussion of newly introduced topics. Today we are going to see another important topic that is startup, startup finance and also I will be giving a brief background on the newly uh, added topics in business valuation. So make use of it and uh, revise to the fullest. Let's quickly get going. So first one is succession planning as the term aptly in place you all of you will be well aware we'll take a practical example itself a written data server the great written data server so all of you know that is one of the real master and uh, one of the great business business tycoon so there should be a, a adequate person to take over and uh, run the business because it requires uh, clarity from the employees etc because such a huge organization so all these things this is typically about why succession planning is required because being human we are bound to age and uh, after a particular age we cannot make decision making aptly like how we are young so all these factors contributes to the essence of succession planning so you might get a question on what is the need for succession planning these are the newly included questions in this topic so first one is the easy way to remember is act during risk mitigation because whenever challenges comes up mind tends to get blocked but how do you act act is the shortcut for that that is aligning cause removal and conflict resolution mechanism and lastly talent pipeline so what exactly is conflict resolution mechanism and talent pipeline so if you ask me whether you it's is it enough if you just mention the side headings that is aligning cost removal conflict resolution and is it enough absolutely not enough because out of four you will get only one one point five so you need to know right at least few key terms for example in conflict resolution mechanism promoting open and transparent communication and settlement of conflicts for example example any between two managers or two bosses any issues comes so there should be adequate conflict resolution mechanism because any human fight should not lead to dis disruption in the long term and lastly talent pipeline is itch for example succession planning is there if he goes if he comes to leaders if he goes all those things are there then it will keep employees motivated it helps them more visibility around current career paths expecting because they know that this organization is going to run in the long term and it's not going to end anywhere soon. So this is typically about the need that is typical. What is the need for succession planning means you should write these points. So business succession strategy, what are the various business succession strategy? What are the steps for business succession strategy? So first thing is you should focus on who are the key leaders, who are all getting older, etc. So evaluate the key leadership positions then. What are the and you should map the competencies required for above positions. For example, what are the eligibility criteria? Whether they have enough background to take over, whether they have enough expertise in this particular field, all those things should be considered. And what are the you should identify the competencies of current or force whether anybody who's internally ready to take over or whether we need to focus on the external requirement criteria all those things then this is another key word we should keep in mind that is bridge leaders so their appointment of outside like i was mentioning the previous point the appointment of outsider as bridge leaders it helps to develop business and prepare young family members for the leadership roles so these are the various if they if they ask the steps for business action strategy so these are the five four steps that you got to keep in mind evaluate map identify and bridge leaders so I'll be briefing things from before we go to the business valuation. Let's we need we have to discuss a couple of questions in uh, startups itself. So, how India became sustainable environment for startups? What is the massive reason? Most of you will be well aware the technology, the increased use of the internet, uh, even while studying, etc. You'll be constantly checking the news, what's going on, and uh, whether chat GPT, artificial intelligence, there is plethora of developments. So, all those things contributing to the more uh, knowledge and the wide gamut of uh, accumulation of information so pool of talent then cost effective workforce and variety of funding options available so there you can go for uh, 
any of the options uh, there are many people to for example uh, in startup india or what many to, for even in tamil nadu some startups are coming so there are lot of options available or shark tank it could be anything so in indian startups increasing valuation so what exactly is the key word in technology is indian startups increasing working in ai and blockchain so you should mention this key terms because if you if you have seen in auditing accounts everything so th- there is so much importance emphasis that is given to artificial intelligence blockchain and also most of you be uh, would have invested in bitcoins and all those things would have lost some amount as well so i recommend in case if you are someone who got habitual to those things at least for the next couple of months stay away from those because i'm uh, getting a lot of updates that people are investing and losing a lot so moving on to the next question is unicorn concept what exactly is unicorn what are the features of uh, the features that company should satisfy to be categorized as a unicorn is it should be a privately held startup and the valuation should be greater than 1 billion and emphasis on rarity of success and lastly ideas disruptive innovation consumer focus these are the key things of a unicorn startup so keep these things in mind moving on to the next question what are the value drivers for startups so what are the key value drivers for startups are competitiveness demand supply revenue and industry attractiveness and product management going traction product management and to going and traction then lastly you should brush up on going concern distressed companies so another newly added topic so keep these things in mind and make the most of it have a fantastic time market and revise well and best wishes